Oxford Circus is a very close second. I'm heading to Dry By, which is a beautiful, trendy nail salon. Well, salon, they do hair, they do everything. I started going there in 2019 when I lived in London for three months, and it was always something that I did as a gift to myself because I was living in London alone, doing this big adventure, and it was like, yeah, like a treat to myself. So now that I'm here again, and the last few times I've been in London, they haven't been open because of everything going on. So I'm excited to go get these nails done today. One of the reasons I love going to drive by is because I also have to walk towards the BBC building, which I love because when I lived in London for three months, I did a public diplomacy press internship at the US Embassy. And so I got to go to the BBC studios and it was a huge gift and really great experience. So it just reminds me of one of the best times of my life. I'm early for my appointment, so I figured I would try to show you my outfit. <laughs> I'm wearing like these black trousers, some white sneakers, trench coat, obviously. I have a blazer. This is not going well. I have a blazer, and then I just have like a blouse kind of top under that. This is our London look. Glow Bar is just next door, and it's a really great like health and wellness store. They have overpriced smoothies and um, just, yeah, really good health food. And then you can work in the back on the other side of the counter. And they do, I think last time I was here, they had like a sauna. They have just a lot of health and wellness stuff. getting my nails done and they turned out so, so good. I'm gonna show them to you up close. But the woman who did my nails was so sweet. She was gentle, which I like because I have really sensitive nails and it was all around great experience. Now I'm heading to the post office because I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway and five people on Instagram and five people on TikTok are going to receive postcards from me from London. Um, this will be up after I probably already sent them, but it's fun, I love doing this. Instagram and I wanted to try their plant-based burgers and it is really good. I got the cheeseburger um, with grilled onions, spicy mayo, and tomato and it's really really good. Look at what I just stumbled upon while shoving a plant-based burger into my mouth. Everyone is just walking by like this is not a slice of heaven. I forgot how frustrating Regent Street on Saturdays can be. Last time I was here I think we were like on lockdown, so it wasn't very busy. And then, oh, it's raining in my face and I didn't bring an umbrella. But yeah, it's just so, so busy. There are lines to get into stores, lines to try things on, more people in one space than I have ever wanted to be around. So I did a little shopping, but I'm gonna go grab some tea at Selfridges, I think. And then I'm gonna drop off a disposable camera at Snappy Snaps because I've been taking some disposable camera pics. chocolate section of Selfridges because I want to get Tom some chocolates since he had to stay home and work all day today. I was gonna get him like nice chocolate but I know he would appreciate this more than anything. Cookies and cream is his favorite so we're just gonna get him this. We did not secure a table in Selfridges. I wanted to get tea at this place called Dolly and it's named after the Dolly sisters who were two real women who basically took advantage of Mr. Selfridge, encouraged him to gamble, encouraged him to spend his fortune on them, and it was a part of his demise. And yet they still have a 
little restaurant named after them. They do like great afternoon teas. I was gonna get a cup of tea, but yeah. No tables are free right now. Everyone's too excited to be out and about. I forgot to show you the details of my Kintsugi nail manicure and what it means. Kintsugi is a Japanese art form where you take something that is broken, usually a ceramic, and you put it back together oh, using gold. Actually. You melt the gold into the cracks and use that gold to bind the pieces together, which creates new art and arguably makes it more beautiful than it was before it was broken. And I love that metaphor for life, for women, for humans that we truly do become more beautiful after we have been broken, which I don't wanna say insensitively because I don't think that we deserve the things that break us, but the overcoming is so, so beautiful and I truly believe makes us more beautiful people. Okay, just dropped off my disposable camera. I was gonna go and get some tea at another restaurant, but I am so tired. I just kind of wanna go home. So I think I'm gonna round out this little mini vlog right here, but I had a really great day out in London, mainly on Regent Street, and it's reminded me to never go to Regent Street on a Saturday again, but I'm excited to do some more, maybe like little mini vlogs in London. I know I'm gonna have a day in Hyde Park very soon. Honestly, London Park's so bad from now on. I can't do the crazy Regent Street anymore. Thank you for watching this short London vlog. More to come, as I said, hopefully in Hyde Park very, very soon. But thank you for following along and feel free to catch my other London vlogs from when I lived here for three months. I documented everything, except for meeting my boyfriend who I'm about to go see right now. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Follow me on Instagram. I'm doing daily updates and mini vlogs there. Cannot wait to connect with you. Bye!